on? So I've got this same question a few times now. I'll have people walk up to the car, do a quick walk around the car, and then they'll walk up to me and ask me where I got the vinyl overlays for my ST badges on the car. The simple answer is, I did it myself. And it's pretty easy to do, so I'm gonna show you how to do it for less than $5. start. You're going to need a squeegee so you can stuff all the vinyl right into the edge. You're going to need a 9mm hobby knife. The blade is just really small. Um, I'd suggest after every cut or couple of cuts snap off a piece of the knife. And then you're going to need a heat gun. At least for the way I do it, um, you can use a hair dryer, like this was $10 at Walmart and it can get used for so many different projects, so why not? All right, to start the process, clean up your emblem. Make sure you get the microfiber cloth into all the edges. If you don't get into the edges, you risk the vinyl not sticking and starting to peel up just happens with rain or snow or you know just regular dirt once you've got that cleaned up get a piece of vinyl that's just a slight bit larger than the emblem itself peel the backing off of the vinyl And this part here, put the vinyl over the emblem, and then just use your finger to trace the outline of it. So basically, once the vinyl is stuck on there, you're going to want to see just the outline of the badge itself. Then, you get your heat gun. Now this is where the fun happens. Heat it up. You'll be able to see it start to go into the edge itself. And you just work it in. The key to this is to work the vinyl as tight into every single edge as you can. The tighter you can work the vinyl in, the better your cuts are going to be and the better it's going to look. If it starts tensing up, just give it a little bit more heat to relax the vinyl. Continue on. Once you have the vinyl worked into all the edges, it's time to grab your knife and start cutting it out. Now take your time with this step. This is the most important step. 
So, as you can see, once you're done cutting out around all the edges, the emblem comes out, body color or whatever color you want with the nice chrome ring around it to make it look OEM. See, that wasn't so bad. I hope you learned a thing or two about vinyl wrapping today. You know, the emblems, they're kind of a task, but they're not really that bad. Some of the trickier stuff like, you know, fog lights or mirror covers might be a little bit more in depth. If you want to see it, just leave a comment. If you did learn something from this video, I'd ask that you like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget, stay hydrated. I also forgot to add, don't forget to check out my Instagram for daily uploads and updates on the car.